All right, guys, we're making a very fast lasagna. Erica had cravings. And I was not going to start making lasagna sheets, so we're going the easy way out. So what I did do is I diluted my pasta sauce that I already have made. And why do I dilute it? Because the noodles that I'm using have to rehydrate. So if I would just put the sauce the way it is, it would be just too thick and yeah, it wouldn't be so good. So by diluting it, it's going to be perfect for the lasagna. I also have a tomato that I cut this morning that I would like to use in here so we don't waste. There we go. You want to put some kale? Um, if you shred it really thin, yeah, we could put some kale. So this is what I'm using. This is why I'm diluting my sauce so this way the noodles will be able to rehydrate nicely. And now we're gonna start our layering. I'm gonna add more sauce. Just a very fast, easy lasagna dish. Okay. And we're gonna add some of the lentil we cooked. Instead of minced meat, we're using lentil that we cooked up like you would if you're cooking rice. It was one part lentil to one part, oh no, it was one part lentil to two parts water. And 20 minutes is more than enough. And lentil, of course, you know, is a great protein source. Can I zoom out or, yeah, there's, that's a little better, I think. I had you right in my, right in your face, sorry. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of kale. Make this a healthy lasagna. There we go, thank you, Erica. Erica, there was a tomato that I started this morning. I'm going to put a couple of slices in, not to wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a knife on the table, too. Uh, I'll use a serrated one. If we have somewhere here. Yep, right on the air. Just not to waste it. We're just going to put a couple of slices here and there. Actually, we could put even another tomato if you want, Eric. Some chili flakes because we like it spicy. Mm. Here, you want me to sprinkle? Yeah, be careful because that's really hot, that one. Okay, so do you want to just do one layer? Of, of uh, sprinkle? Yeah, we could do that. So this layer? Yeah. Might as well. Okay. Can I have the pesto, Erica? Mm hmm And the nutritional yeast, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Basically, you put whatever you desire in your lasagna. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, here's my beautiful pesto that I make. You don't want to put a lot of it, but a little bit is great. Okay, we're going to put some nutritional yeast. I've got it in a handy container here. This used to be one of my spiced containers and I kept it for 
our nutritional yeast. Can I have a spoon for the sauce? There we go. And rather than making a bechamel, I made like a nice thick sauce that we throw on top of our lasagna. And this will work no different than if you made a bechamel to put in your lasagnas. Okay, and we start again with our noodles. And we're gonna go this way, because I have, yeah. Like this. Like this. Like this, one at the end. And there we go. Put that there. Shove that there, and we start again with the... Now you wanna be generous when you're making when you're adding the sauce because you want that noodle to be able to rehydrate itself and if you would have just put sauce I mean it would rehydrate but then your lasagna won't be nice and wet and delicious the way it should be normally we use homemade pasta but this was a last minute Erica craving I'm still trying to edit a video and by the time you see this you would have seen the video yes another cheese video Ooh. this is beautiful Nice, healthy lasagna. There we go. We have a couple of tomatoes, slices left. Just throw them in anywhere. There's a little core there. I really don't care. I'm not picky like that. If you see me eat an apple, you get scared because I don't just eat apple. I eat even the core. Okay. Kale and lentil, you can't go wrong. Probably won't be my husband's favorite because he's such a old fashioned Italian. Hey Erica. He'll like it. Ah, oh, he'll eat it. <laughs> he uh rather eat the pasta with no meat, nothing. He'll eat it with mushrooms, but my sauce does have mushrooms. What if we put a few slices of onion? Hmm? I prefer not to. No? Okay. And our very fast bechamel sauce. That's gonna be perfect. I added that little bit of flour. It's gonna work just perfect in here. Okay. I can drop my spoon now. Mm -hmm. We're switching over to different noodles. Hey? Eh? I said we're switching over to different noodles now. Oh, they're different? <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. Okay. We use up what we have, right? <laughs> we went from whole wheat to not whole wheat. Not whole wheat. Whatever we have is what we're going to eat. Okay. Can't be picky. Food is food, right? I'll tuck those underneath. And you hear that? Mm-mm-mm. You 
want to make another small one or? I think that's good. We're good. What temperature did I put? Let me just tuck this in there. In you go. I'd like to put one more layer, but am I gonna? Did you put those in the layers? The what? The salt? Yeah. Why, you need a salt? I don't know. Usually no. you say to add. What temperature do I put at? Let's put it at 375. We're gonna let it cook slowly. I don't know, should I uh, put another layer? What do you say? Can you put another layer? I don't know. Maybe not with the stuff on top of it. Maybe just noodles. You wanna try just the noodles? You could put more cheese. Yeah, or, you have a, or another layer of kale. So you use it up. I'll, I'll make a little kale salad. Okay. Because your father will. Hmm, I'm pushing it, eh? That's okay. We're gonna double layer the lasagna on top. That's a mushroom. And I make my sauce. Okay. That's it? Yeah. I think I have it. <laughs> I think I pushed it. Okay. Oh well. It's gonna be the way it's gonna be. It's going to be good. We'll definitely put something underneath so it doesn't spill over. This is going to spill over. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Let's put some nutritional yeast. My mouth's already watering. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. <clears throat> excited. Okay. And we have some more pesto. There we go. And last but not least, we're going to put our sauce on top. There we go. Perfecto. It's like a Picasso art. Splash away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is going to go into the oven. And this is going to be our dinner. So there's a recipe for a quick sauce. That acts just like a bechamel. And if you want it thicker, you add more flour. And as it cooks, it thickens up and it looks like cheese, guys. So it's a fast way of mimicking some sort of cheese in your lasagna. And then, of course, if you have any homemade cheese, you could grate uh, some of that cheese on top. Or if you um, make it with cashew, like cashew cheese, I have recipes on that. You can also grate some of that up or turn it in, uh, put in a, a food processor and mince it up and then you have your own little grated cheese but very easy to make vegan food it's healthy it's delicious and you don't lack anything that lentil is very high in protein so you're not lacking any of that and don't forget guys put a like to this video if like if you like seeing videos like this and don't forget if you want to support me, you could go over to my website at carniesrossomkitchen.com and you could buy some PDF files there that's going to help support my channel. So I'm going to say I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.
Ba-da-ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba